Hi, I'm Amber Royer, author of the Bean to Bar Mysteries, which are cozy mysteries set on Galveston Island. And I'm showing you little pieces of Galveston. Now we're out at Galveston Island State Park. And this is kind of a paradise if you're into watching birds. There are a ton of water birds out here and you can see some of them behind me if you look in the video really closely. They're a bit through the mud, so I haven't gotten any more close-up shots of them yet. We're gonna see if we can find a way to get around the other side. So we're still out at the state park and we're heading for that view tower that's kind of behind us. One thing to keep in mind if you ever do visit the park at Galveston, um, there are alligators in the park. They always get the right of way. Hopefully we won't see any while we're out here today. Maybe we'll see some more birds. So here we are up on top of the view tower and it actually does give you a pretty good view of the park. And you can see the areas where there's water with the marsh. Um, you can see areas of green. There's another view tower off in the distance. It's rather wet and muddy out here, but I want to get closer to the water. So I've got to be as careful as I can and make my way down there very slowly. You can see this bend in the path is getting me a lot closer to the water than I was from the other side earlier. It actually has a bridge going across it. Let's see if I can find any birds down here. One bird that I can see flew way off when he saw me coming, so I guess I'd have to stand out here a lot longer than I really want to. But it's kind of interesting to see how this bridge is kind of flat up against the water. Um, sea Room State Park used to have a trail just about like this. It's really interesting. Makes me a little nervous because Jake didn't come out here with me. So I'm going to take one shot of that bird statue across the way. I'm going to head back. There's a heron and this is about as close as I've gotten to one today. So I'm going to see how close I can get before he flies. Hopefully we'll get to see him fly. Another thing I love about Galveston is all of the wildflowers. So you've got some lantana growing wild out here, you've got some fiesta daisies, and I guess that's the trade-off for the high humidity because everything is lush and green and flowering. closer to the seabirds. There's a lot of gulls, sandpipers, all kinds of little birds.
So I've shown you guys a lot of Galveston Island's nature today. It doesn't come into play as much in the first book as it will later in the series, but um, Logan does have his logo as a Kemp Ridley turtle, which is an interesting thing about turtles on the island as well. So when I was out at the nature preserve, I told you guys that the Kemp Ridley sea turtle was kind of important to the book, that um, Logan uses that as the logo for his puddle jumping company. It's interesting that these turtles are also a big deal on the island. There are sculptures that you can visit and they have different decorations, different kind of markings on them showing um, support for the conservation because these are very endangered animals. This sculpture here is also part of the Turtles About Town series and this one is the Texas A&M Spirit of the Sea Aggie Land. And that's appropriate because um, this A&M has a short-term turtle rehabilitation hospital. Um, you know, when I was looking into things for the book, I was looking at where marine engineering would be a thing and also um, pre-med would be a thing. And uh, this campus it was the perfect place to give my characters a backstory where they could have met. So I wanted to show you guys one more of these turtles around town. This one is Dr. Tommy Tortuga. And it's interesting because the character in my book starts out as a physical therapist before she becomes a chocolate maker. And this is outside the UTMB Health Center Hospital. And I wanted to make sure that it was realistic for her to be studying the undergrad part of her physical therapy on the island. And there's a lot to do with medicine that, that's right here. I also did a lot of research into real sea turtles and their habitats and how it gets handled if there's a nest that gets found in this local area. That becomes part of the plot of the second book where all of the animals you've seen in this video come into play as the book progresses. The first book in the series, Grand Openings Can Be Murder, came out February of 2021. Book two, 70% Dark Intentions, comes out in July, and we'll see another one at the end of the year.